Hello you guys, this is Transformers Review and today I'm going to show you guys the difference between G2 Optimus Prime and the 15th anniversary G1 Optimus Prime reissue. But first I'm going to start off with the Generation 2 Optimus Prime um, original because the box art for the um, Generation 2 um, packaging released in 1992 and 1993 looks absolutely real, real cool. And a piece of Optimus Prime's shoulder and a piece of Optimus Prime's fist and his heel bone are missing because this is the European version and an English one. You can tell that's um, English at the top. And when Transformers Generation 2 Optimus Prime was released over in America, the, um, the people at Hasbro had to flip the um, box art of G1 Optimus Prime um, the other way, so it so it's, um, looks um, so the box art looks like it's um, mirrored, and he has a, um, a new Autobot symbol since um, 1993, 1992, and this um, this generation two version of Optimus Prime has no flap on the top. Though when G1 Optimus Prime came out in 1984, 1984 sorry, he, um, he had a massive flap on the top. And if I managed to keep an eye out for two um, G1 Optimus Prime originals from 1984, 1985, I'll be sure to do a, um, a video review on it and um, some video slideshows and I'll be taking some photos of it at some stage in the near future. If you look at the top of this box, you see there's G1 Optimus Prime in his Generation 2 colours. You can tell he has a black trailer, blue treads, same rubber wheels, and his truck form looks the same, but brighter colours, brighter red, brighter blue. Red strip on his both sides of his truck, Autobot symbol at the top, and the word Optimus Prime on both sides of his truck. And shows you in different stages how he transforms. Though G1 Optimus Prime here has two brand new missile launches that came out in 1992-1993. There's his light and sound power pack and blue roller. And you can tell it has a black trailer. On this side, the box, this side of the box it says Transformers Generation 2 and a bit of a um, clear um, see-through plastic and the word Optimus Prime underneath because he is my, one of my very very top favourite characters from the original Transformers series. On the other side of the box you see um, a black trailer for G1 Optimus Prime and there's Roller and he has no thing laser, only his twin missile launchers. And in the middle you see G1 Optimus Prime in his generation two colors attached to a light and sound power pack with no weapons on it. And why is that you may ask? Simple, light and, due to Optimus Prime light and sound power pack is here with no missile launchers because G2 Optimus Prime here is holding them ready to fire and he's ready to fight off the evil Decepticons led by Megatron. And on the back you have um, G2 Optimus Prime holding his spring-fired weapons, his missile launchers, and there's um, a raised battle um, platform here which you can fit um, one Diaclone driver into. Plus, um, when G2 Optimus Prime is in his base form, you can also fit one, two Diaclone drivers into his trailer. And there's a um, G2 version of Roller here, and you can tell he has a massive hose. He's the um, Scout car, and you can fit up to four. Yes.
fit up to four dark clone drivers in it. And you can also, and if you prefer to fit, um, if you're a dark clone fan, prefer to fit um, up to two dark clone drivers in Optimus Prime when whether he, he's in his right line of 202 truck form or robots form, that's entirely, entirely up to you. And if you also had the matrix of leadership, you can also fit in his chest. On this side, there's a pic of G1 Optimus Prime in, well, two G1 Optimus Primes, actually. One in robot form, trailer in base form, the other in truck form, G2 Megatron from his tank form into his robot form, along with Generation 2 Starscream transforming from his F-15 Eagle Jet form into his, his robot form, along with Slag, who transforms into a Triceratops, because he's one of the Dinobots, and Generation 2 Jazz, who transforms into a Martini Porsche 935 Turbo, though G2 Starscream and G2 S Jazz both have spring fire weapons, but but G1 Slag, um, who's painted green in this photo, um, doesn't have any G2 um, spring-fired weapons. But the difference between G2 G Generation 1 Slag and G2 Slag, they're both the same mould, but some of the colours are a bit different, and their weapons are also the same. Oh, one thing I've got to point out, on this pic, back of this pic, you see the um, Illuminators and the Sparkabots as well. And got the English tech specs on this side, along with the Spanish tech specs and the um, Portuguese um, tech specs. And I should know because this is a um, Hasbro UK version and he does look real 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 cool and I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera a bit I'm going to show you guys 15th anniversary Optimus Prime reissue now this is the 15th anniversary Optimus Prime G1 reissue that came out in Japan during July 2000 in honour of the 15th anniversary of the Transformers in Japan. And the box art for this looks real different. So the people in Japan had to shrink down the box a bit because this is also based on the original 1984 Japanese release uh, along with the Takara Diaclone Battle Convoy release which I'm also a really, really, really big fan of. If you look closely there's G1 Optimus Prime holding his spinning laser rifle and there's Grey Roller in G1 Optimus Prime trailer because this, this is also known as, this guy is known as G1 Convoy in Japan and I'm real glad I got me two of these um, on eBay, one during August 2008 and the other during December 2009 and you can start some Takara in Japanese, meaning treasure. At the top here, you see G1 Optimus Prime in his robot form and another photo of G1 Optimus Prime in his Freightliner 202 truck form attached to his trailer. And on this side, you get the same photos of G1 Optimus Prime in his robot form and another photo of G1 Optimus Prime in his truck form. Same thing on this side, at the bottom here, at the bottom of this box, shows you um, that um, G1 Optimus Prime in his truck form, transforming from his truck form right into his robot form. Because these guys are all cool. And if I one day manage to keep an eye out for two G1 Optimus Prime reissues that have his bloated fists, bloated gun, muscle plates in his trailer. I'll be sure to I'll also be sure to do some video reviews on it and take some photos of it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if I manage to keep an eye out for two 
G1 Optimus Prime Originals with his massive bloated fists, bloated guns, grey roller, grey missiles and metal plates in his trailer. I'm sure to get two of them on eBay um, as long as I have just enough money saved up for the both of them because I'm setting up my own massive glass display of Transformers. One set in vehicle form and the other set in robot form. On the back, you've got the um, mega, mega cool G1 box art where G1 Optimus Prime and his army of fellow Warspots fly into space, fighting off the evil Decepticons led by Megatron. And the box art, again, the box art for this is really, 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 really cool. First alternate formation is where you have G1 Optimus Prime still in his Frightline 202 truck form and his trailer in his base form because this G1 Optimus Prime's alternate um, attack base form where you have um, a raised battleized platform in his trailer it's not only turned around um, where the um, his truck is but he ready to fire at some evil Decepticons when Optimus Prime is in his truck form. G1 Optimus Prime's alternate formation number two, where G1 Optimus Prime's still in his truck form, but his raised battleized platform is still sticking out, which some of us would prefer to call his alternate attack truck form. Now, G1 Optimus Prime alternate formation number three, we have G1 Roller, in attack form using G1 Optimus Prime's rifle and no photo of G1 Optimus Prime in his robot form for alternate formation number three. But if I did manage to keep an up for another four G1 op Encore op G1 Optimus Prime reissues, definitely set, set them all up in their alternate diaclone formations and keep um, the third of four um, new G1 Encore Optimus Prime reissues I'm going to plan to buy, um, which I'm planning to buy um, in the near future, where he's in his robot form without holding a thin laser rifle. Now, G1 Optimus Prime alternate formation. Now, G1 Optimus Prime alternate formation number four. On the other hand, is real interesting and real, real appealing to me because G1 Optimus Prime is still in his robot form, his trailer in his base form, and his race battle flight platform in preparation bay form and repair bay form. And he looks really, really cool, and he's real, real, real appealing. So, what can I say? He looks real, real cool. I'm going to put some G1 Optimus Prime reissue on top of the Generation 2 box of Optimus Prime here. And what can I say guys? What can I say? He looks real, real cool and if you're a big fan of Generation 2 Optimus Prime and 50th Anniversary Optimus Prime reissue, I still suggest picking them up from eBay. And um, and if I also managed to keep an eye for another set of G1 Optimus Prime original stickers for Generation 2, again, I'll be um, keeping them unused. And he's, and what can I, and, and what, what else can I say, really? They're both a big 10 out of 10 because, one, they're a big must for all Transformers fans, two, Generation 2 Optimus Prime, um, along with 15th anniversary Optimus Prime are a huge must for all Transformers fans and a really, really huge must for all Optimus Prime fans. So if you're a big Optimus Prime fan, I seriously suggest picking up the 1993 version of Generation 2 Optimus Prime because he's still the same Generation 1 Optimus Prime with um, spring up only if you're a big G1 Optimus Prime fan, I also seriously suggest picking up the 15th anniversary um, Japanese G1 Optimus Prime reissue on eBay along with the 
Transformers Generation 2 version of Optimus Prime released in 1993. Though the 1993 version of Generation 2 Optimus Prime is still the same G1 Optimus Prime has the same who has the same G1 transforming gimmicks and same made of the same mold as the G1 Optimus Prime original, but the colours and the stickers are different. Especially the symbols as well. So hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and I'm sorry this is um, taken up um, too long. I'll try not to get into far too much detail next time I do another G1 Optimus primary issue or any other Transformers G1 um, video review whatsoever. So hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Um, have an excellent day and don't forget to visit YouTube for more Transformers video reviews. Take care of yourselves.